Good afternoon. Uh, it's, it is raining all day today and there's nothing to do outside. So I thought, look, let's get some work done inside. And the first thing that came to my mind is to build these extra boxes for the bees. A uh, few things look uh, logical and should be easy to build. And few I'll just have to Google, I guess. Um, but I'm no expert by any means by this, so come along and learn with me, I guess. I was going to go into the beehives today but, and show you, but the rain didn't stop all day. So this is the next best thing I came up with. I mean, it's something, I mean, it's a step forward. It has to be done, so it is good. I hope it is good. To tell you the truth, I never liked pa painting. <laughs> this is easy enough, I guess. Doesn't have to be as accurate. And that's pretty. Main thing is the timbers that are outside get some paint on them. I don't think bees will mind if it doesn't look professional. This is water-based paint, so it is safe for the bees and I can wash my hands easily. Anything I mess up really can be washed easily. This is just a primer paint. And the rest will be yellow, like the rest of the beehives. I found the local manufacturer who manufactures these boxes and I bought these four of him. Um, he charged me 12 and a half euros for each box. Um, but he only has the boxes and the frames, so I just bought the boxes of him because I just didn't feel comfortable drilling the frames and everything and I thought I'll go to the local shop and see if I can get finished frames or, you know, assembled frames. And the boxes at their place is 11 euros 80. So they're cheaper than him. Not sure how the manufacturer is more expensive than the shop, but that is it. Um, they only had two boxes in the shop, so which is fine that I bought these off him. But the thing is the shop is like five kilometers closer to me than he is. So next time I buy some of these, I'll be getting them at the, at the shop, I guess. Cheaper and closer. I really don't like this painting, but I'll be alright. There's not too much. The primer is finished and as you can see, painting is not my strength. Um, luckily, there's not much. Uh, I'm going to go and uh, wash the brush and uh, start uh, assembling the little frames. Let's see what 
what I need to do for them and God help me, I guess. Lucky this is only paint and can be washed off. Some things you can never wash off. So this is why I chose these. These have holes pre-drilled so I, I don't miss. I don't have to think about them. I'm guessing you, you put this uh, angle on the same side, on both sides. I hope this is what it's meant to look like. Good morning. Um, yesterday I had a few things to do and I only managed to put one together. And I put it together wrong. So I'll try to take it apart this morning and hopefully I, I will be able to do this. And uh, if not, I mean, it's one frame. Big deal. So what, what I did wrong was, or is, these things. One has to be on one side and one on the other. They can't be on the same side. Reason being is so when you flip them, you never hit the flat spot on them because the bees can glue the, will glue these and they'll pop, you can pop your frame apart. So that's the reasoning behind it. I'm just gonna try to take it apart and you know, see what happens. I'm gonna take it apart and I'm gonna put these little pins in before I put it back in. Should be easier. I'm gonna connect a few more and then I'm gonna paint this and maybe we can get into the beehives this morning. See what, what happens. I figured out, um, uh, because I've got to put two nails here in the side, uh, it's really hard to nail them, but I can just push them in with, the, with my pliers. Uh, the wood is soft enough, let me show you. I figured it out quick to make it easier on me. I hope it's gonna be good for someone at least. I've got 10 built, 10 frames built. Uh, all I have to do now is do these wires. I mean, the more you do this, the easier it gets. It is not really complicated. Um, once I put the wires in, I don't have the mean to put the wax on. I've got the wax, but didn't realize you need something to actually put the wires in or melt the wax around the wires. I'll get these wires on and uh, then I'll just finish painting these and then we can go and buy, see what I can actually buy to put, put the wax on. I'm taking some stainless steel wire, 0.4 mil thick. So I'm guessing that's it. Let's, let's give it a go.
This is not that bad. The wires are meant to play music. So the better you tighten them, the better. So that's it. Done. Nine more and then that's it for today. All ten is finished. Um, wasn't really hard for me to figure out. I'm a carpenter, so it's not a big deal. Now comes the hard part: getting everything painted, or the rest. This is the pre-mixed paint I had, so I didn't. That's why I bought it. Um, I think the other ones are yellow as well. And continue with the yellow theme. Maybe if I paint another few hundred, four hundred, I don't know. Maybe I'll be good at painting as well. Would be nice if I could draw a B on him, wouldn't it? A little bit of personal touch. Maybe my wife or the kids will want to paint something on them. I really want. This is quite enough for me. Not sure if I gotta go one more time over them, but this is pretty good for me as well. As soon as I switched off the camera, I have dropped the paint on the floor. I'm hopeless with painting. I have finished painting, me being professional and, you know, I've taken some paint. I've painted the bee boxes twice and honestly, the second time over they look much better. Um, it is still wet to go into the garden, but I'm thinking to go open up a beehive. I've never done this on my own and honestly, I don't feel comfortable doing it on camera. I'll do it off camera just, just, just to check, just to feel things out. Otherwise, I'll be just putting these frames together and uh, that will be my day for today. I was just down at the beehives, a uh, lot of mud, but the bees are really, really active. So I'm just gonna go and check it out. Um, put my gum boots on and uh, my suit on and check it out, I guess. Wish me good luck. I've gone halfway through a hive and the bees were really, really angry. And then short after that, it started raining. I was told uh, they get really angry when it's due to rain. So I haven't, I did not manage to see much today, but First time is good. They with the bees, so I counter with my bees. Um, they were a bit angry, but I have chosen the wrong time to go and see them. Um, it was important to me just to check how far they're going, whether they are, they're running out of room. But as much as I could see, they're not. I've got a couple of more days uh, up my sleeve to wait for the better wet weather and open up the hive and check it a bit better. Um, I'll just stick for the rest of the days to finish all these frames and be actually ready for them. Uh, thank you everyone for watching. I'll end the video here. Uh, I th hope you like this video as well and uh, I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.